Hello guys, Cyborg Spoon here coming at you with another commentary. Um, first of all, two things before I start. This is going to be a two-part video, so um, make sure you check back for the second half of the video. And also, let me know what the audio for this video is like. I'm still trying to get used to all the programs like uh, Sony Vegas and Audacity and stuff, so I'm trying my best to get these uh, to get it perfect and good enough for you to listen to. So just leave a comment or message me wherever about telling me what the uh, audio is like. Okay, um, basically, guess uh, to the point of the video. Um, the other day, I did a video, like a commentary on uh, games I was looking forward to, like the first part of this year. And someone asked me, oh, they told me that they, uh, I should have explained why I was looking forward to them. And I think that's a pretty good idea, to me, as I should have. So I'm going to do that over this video. So uh, yeah, I'll just have a bit of the Dead Space 3 demo in the background for you whilst I talk about the games I'm looking forward to. So I'll start off with Dead Space 3. Um, looking forward to this because well the first two Dead Space games were great uh, what made them so good is that it was such a good atmosphere the game really you were really I can try to think of the word you, the game captured you straight away like you're on this ship in the first one especially like you're on the, the Ishimura and there's just this tense atmosphere like oh where's the next Necromorph going to come out of where and it's you know it really it really got you into the game, and uh, the horror of the gore, the the action of the games, that that was really really good. And the second one, <laughs> the second the second one was still a great game. I preferred the first one personally, but the second one was still a great game. It worked. It still had that scary atmosphere about it. And uh, yes, I'm really looking forward to the uh, to that about the third one. I'm, I'm, I like the new settings and stuff. Like this seems to be moving away from a ship, like for example here, just to start with like a snowy planet. It's like, even though it's outdoors and in a big space, it still feels all clustered up and there's still that scary atmosphere. And, it's, and uh, I'm really looking forward to how the co-op's going to work with this game, because uh, obviously all the other Dead Space games have been single player only, apart from those competitive multiplayer, there was never any co-op in them. So I'm really looking forward to how that's going to pan out. Uh, it's from the demo, well, I have played the demo co-op as well, and it seemed to work just fine. Um, there's a lot of new features they're adding into this game, like the uh, the ability to customise your weapons, like add things to your weapons. Um, yeah, that should be really, really good. I saw like a little clip of a trailer where you were flying around, so that looks really interesting. I'm really interested to see how, how many different spaces we go in, like not just like this planet, but if we're going to be going on any ships or any sort, then the enemies, what are they going to be like? Because there's like there's humans in this one that you're fighting as well now, like with guns. And I can't remember because I haven't played the games in a very long time. I don't think that you ever actually fought humans in the last two games. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to, to Dead Space in general. I think they're great games and I, I can't wait for Dead Space 3 to come out. Which is in like a, a week or two, I think. <laughs> okay, the second game I'm looking forward to that comes out just after that is Aliens, Colonial Marines. I'm a big fan of the whole Alien movie franchise. And to be honest, it deserves a good game. There haven't really... That I can even think of been any good alien games. There was the Alien vs Predator game that came out a couple of years ago, but that was just a very average game. To be honest, it wasn't great at all. It, it wasn't terrible, but it was just really average. And uh, this looks really fun. Like it looks scary, but it's really fun. Like the online, especially, looks great. Like some people being the the human or the Marines trying to survive, and other people being the aliens. And there's another thing that looks like they've done well, the actual being able to, the way they control the aliens, all the other games, especially that, the uh, Alien vs Predator game that came out a few years ago, the control for the aliens was, oh, it's just crap really, you just stuck to everything, you were constantly flipping up and down, this one looks like you've got a lot of control with the alien, it looks like it's going to really improve on that, so yeah, that game looks really good, and I'm really looking forward to, to that, because uh, it's, it's a great franchise and it should have a good game. The, uh, the next game I'm looking forward to is Metal Gear Rising. Uh, like I said in my COD commentary, I'm a huge Metal Gear fan, and I like this new little series that come out with Rising. Um, obviously, you're playing as Raiden. Uh, I doubt Solid Snake or uh, yeah, I doubt Snake is going to make a um, an appearance in this. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so the I played the demo the other day. The gameplay is really smooth. Like the 
it's really fluid that uh, using your sword where it's just you're just shooting attacks or using like the free blade mode it is really fluid it works really well the graphics it looks great yeah the fighting was really good the story it seems to be set after Metal Gear Solid 4 which is pretty cool um, to find out what Raiden's up to after Metal Gear Solid 4 because the series looks like it's going to be over all that there's the rumours of Metal Gear Solid 5 and that Phantom Pain game so maybe it isn't but yeah, it's pretty cool to continue in the series. I, as this goes in the whole Metal Gear universe, I'm not sure if this will be continued. This might just be a one-off game. Maybe they'll make another one, but I can't see this lasting very long. But it's still, the game looks really fun. It played really well from the demo. So I, I can't wait for that to come out. That comes out just after, as well, a, a, like Dead Space, Aliens, and Metal Gear will come out within like a week of each other sort of thing. So looking forward to that. Uh, but, Another game I'm really, uh, really interested in is South Park: The Stick of Truth. Huge, huge. South Park's probably my favourite TV program, and uh, the game it looks it's really looks really interesting. And what I like about it is that Matt and Trey, the people who created South Park, basically have done this game as well. Like they've been really heavily involved with it, loads of the writing, and uh, you know they made sure it's not just like as we've had a few South Park games, like the little arcade games, like the tower defence game and. Uh, the other, I can't remember what's called, I think it's Revenge of Scott Tenor or something like that, but this is a proper, you know, an RPG. It looks to be like a turn-based RPG. I've only seen one trailer on it, the the E3 trailer. It looks to be like a turn-based sort of RPG, and it, it looks like it's really sticking true to the series, like you've got crab people in there, you're fighting the ginger kids, the vamps, the goss. You know, it, it looks really, really solid. It looks like um, pretty much everyone from the show is making an appearance. You see Jesus in there, you see... Uh, kind of just a few people like there was a giant Clyde you're, and uh, you're taking control basically you're the new kid that's moved into town and you're joining the four boys Cartman, Kenny uh, Kyle and uh, Stan on their adventure so I'm really interested to see how this plays out as an RPG and uh, how it just plays in general Like it, I'm so glad that they got uh, Matt and Trey on it doing it with them because I it's bound to be hilarious, and it should, it should be a really good game, so I'm looking forward to that as well. The next game, uh, Bioshock Infinite. Uh, now this game looks really cool. They've taken it away from, I can't remember what the city was called from the first game of, but they've taken it out of like the underwater city, and they've actually taken you to the complete opposite end. They've taken you to the, you have in a city in the sky now that's floating in the sky. And that is really cool because what made the first game so great so much is like the first time you play it, there's just like Dead Space, there's that atmosphere and there's that, it's a really tense and it's almost fearful because like it's just a natural fear of people of drowning and stuff. And you're in that really scary, run down underwater sea that looks like it could just break at any time and you'd just be completely flooded and die. And uh, you know, the whole run down that was that was the best thing about. Bioshock, it was just a constant, like, the, the atmosphere of the game, it, it really just kept you hooked, you were so interested and so invested with it. I didn't really play a second one, I don't know why I didn't play a second one, I played about literally maybe the first 10 minutes, it just didn't capture me the same way, so maybe it was getting stale at being in that setting after one game, so I'm glad they've moved it. This new one's up in a city in the sky, uh, it looks absolutely the, the game looks beautiful it looks really 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 well done and like the way you move around you move around on these sky rail things which are basically almost like train tracks that go through the sky and you just jump onto them and like you fly around and stuff uh, from the trailer I saw and I've seen on um, infinite it looks like <laughs> excuse me again. it looks like uh, very much like the first Bioshock like civilization sort of tearing itself apart and you're trying to you're trying to help this girl because Elizabeth 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 <laughs> you're trying to help her get somewhere and um, yeah you're trying to help her get somewhere and she has this weird power to like open you into almost different dimensions like there's this on the trade off there's this horse on the floor and you open her up then she opens this dimension up to stop it being her and uh Looks like I'm going to have to go over to part two of Bioshock, guy, uh, for Bioshock guys, so make sure you check back for part two, where I'll talk more about Bioshock and the other few games that I'm looking forward to.
Okay, guys, um, see you in part two. Peace.